What's going on, guys? Welcome to another standard video here on Magic Online. You know, you know the drill. Um, today we're gonna try out this uh, this sweet standard deck that I found at Five Oda League. It's a U it's a blue white uh, historic deck. We got the Temporal Sunderings along with the Karn himself. We got two Syncopates for our counter spell needs. Uh, History of Benalias, two Teferis, two Lyra. So you know, it's basically the who's who of expensive Dominaria mythics. So. Uh, I guess they shouldn't be in this pile, but you get it. And curve looks something like this. Two rafts, so we can play all these cards at instant speed. Um, settle the wreckage, cast outs, getting the trials, and sideboards. Pretty standard. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, <clears throat> see how it does. We played one match with it already. Uh, we lost because we misclicked a bunch. Um, not misclicked, we misplayed. We're getting used to the standard format. ESM twenty one oh seven, good games. Yeah, the 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 apparently the blue aggressive decks are just ridiculous right now. I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> we just played two back to back rounds where someone put a uh, curious obsession on like a one drop creature and then spell pierced all of our big things, and it was less than less than ideal, but magic's hard. So apparently, like, uh, Curious Obsession is the best card in Standard, I think, right now. I wonder if I have four Curious Obsessions. Oh, I got six. Woo! Gonna be rich when that Curious Obsession bubble hits. I will keep this hand. <clears throat> You definitely did give me some F6 value with Karn, but considering you drew about seven extra cards, I felt like it was fair. <clears throat> I can be your hero, baby. Well, all these fringe decks that might not have had a chance before Dominaria, now all of a sudden they just get like, uh, they just get a free four mana Planeswalker that they can use, which is insane. And it's a very good one too. It's basically a plus one draw card Planeswalker, negative one draw specific card Planeswalker, negative two make a guy Planeswalker. Like it's a very perfect Planeswalker. Like Karn just goes into any deck really. Never. I will never let you have this. Boop. <clears throat> Renewed faith. Yeah, it could just be people testing standard cues with it. That makes sense. Yeah, we're just doing a queue here. We're not doing any leagues uh, because I don't really feel like committing to five matches with this deck. I just want to test it out, give you guys an idea how it works, and uh, you know, see what's up. Where were you last turn, you stupid idiot? Curator of Mysteries. If you guys are familiar with, uh, I don't know, I've ranted about my, um, my magic, the way I organize my cards and stuff. I have all my, all the play stuff that sees regular play and standard sleeved up in like black dragon shields and two long boxes so that I don't have to like, uh, re-sleeve things or look for things when I need them at the last minute. If I'm at like, you know, if I'm putting a deck together for FNM, I don't have to like go through all these boxes and pull these cards out and sleeve them. They're just all there. So I know exactly what I'm looking for. And that blue, that blue white or that, that mono white deck or whatever, uh, is kind of frustrating due to the fact that like, I have to bring out all these cards that are pretty terrible. Like <laughs> curious obsession, uh, either swooper storm fleet Raider, like all these cards that otherwise really, have no business seeing play. 
And now I, you know, now they're playable. And so I'm like, okay, great. I got to add like 20 extra cards to my play stuff that are probably only in one niche deck, maybe for like a, a short period of time until the, until the format stabilizes. You can get a little Drake. Or maybe it's, I mean, maybe it's not a fluke, so I don't know. I don't think we want to attack into you. Our guys are just stronger next turn. Yeah, we'll just pass here. Like, cause next turn we can play Seal Away or we can play Lyra. Uh, that's fine. It's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Come sail away with me. I have sail away stuck in my head because of seal away. That's pretty cool. Do you want a Lyra here? I feel like we do. Or they fumigate and kill everything, and I'd rather not have them do that. I really don't want you to cast cast outs to get your Drake Haven back. Okay, you got it. So they can put cast out and cast out on... Yeah, but then they don't have any cycling cards in there. They can't cycle them from the graveyard, so I guess that's fine. What just happened? Cast out, y'all cast out. All right, fingers crossed you do not have Fumigate. I like how you guys are saying they have cast out, but like, what can we do otherwise? We're not just going to not play Lyra. Like, if they're going to waste their turn actually casting cast out, that's fine. Like, they're going to use it on something, right? Like, if we don't play Lyra, are we going to wait till we draw a Planeswalker and play a Planeswalker? Okay, they'll cast that out. Like, we can't just do nothing. So, they're going to fumigate anyway. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Never fails. card we can play. That is not a card we can play. Well, that's pretty sad. I mean, we have three cast outs in our deck, so unless we want to wait till we draw our third cast out of three uh, to get rid of their cast out, or, you know, 
in pr- in pr- pr- pre- pre- preparation for their cast out, I don't really feel like we have many other options. Oh, the old double Drake Haven. Well, that's problematic. Yeah. All right. I have seen enough. They can cast all of these cards. So. Jace's defeat comes in. We're going to take out Settle. Uh, negate, 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 negate. Take out the Sealaways. Wow, this card, this deck doesn't have Forsake. That's sad. Um, interesting. Probably just one treasure made treasure map, I guess. Every card, every other, man, eh, maybe we'll take out one temporal sundering. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. I will play first. I will keep this hand. All right, let's try again. Check out Gideon's forehead. What does that even mean? Is that a Jace's defeat joke? <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually, if it is. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. You've, you've won me over. Oh, I see. It wasn't. Dang, I was hoping it would have been. We're going to play this guy now because uh, they can't do anything on two that we really care about. I mean, yeah, uh, of course it was a Gideon's forehead joke. <laughs> or Gideon's defeat. All right, we're done. I feel like this match is going to be super grindy. Uh, I want this, but I also want to hit a land, unfortunately. We're going to keep our fingers crossed for... Oh, dang it. Magic hates me. That would have been a perfect time to play, play a Karn. Can you imagine how good Karn would have been there? I want you to imagine it. Close your eyes real quick while we're streaming. Just close your eyes for a second. And just imagine for us, if you will. How good a resolved Karn would be when they when they ta when they were tapped out. Oh my goodness, they're doing something here. What is this? What? No, don't do that. Don't do that. Um I like this on top because now we can scry again. We're gonna draw it. And now we can play Karn and also Scry. What if you plus one the wrong the wrong one and you try to put a silver a card of the silver counter in your hand? Like the turn you play Karn. 
Actually, we're going to do this now in case you have a trick. Uh, yeah, I'll put that on top. Because <clears throat> if you have another cast out, I mean, you'll, you'll probably cast out Karn, but there's no reason to risk it. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. What are they putting? Oh, they put another Karn in the in the lobby. There's a lot of lands here. Ba boom boom boom, boom ba boom boom. I'll make an emblem here. I'll treasure map here. I ain't gonna pretend. <clears throat> Alright, we got a good board here. Feeling okay. This is a really long cruise commercial. I didn't want to break it to you, but... It seems like the jig is up. I got two Planeswalkers, an Emblem, a Treasure Cove, and a Treasure Map. I like that these aren't legendary, so I don't have to lose one to get the other. That's pretty good. Oh god, what's happening? Oh god. Oh, alright. Just a little cutie bird. I didn't scry there because I clicked too fast. I never said I was good at magic, guys. You guys came to that conclusion all on your own. If this resolves, we won't we'll be attacking with Gideon. If it doesn't, we'll be preventing with Gideon. Oh, I got a smiley face. They're probably just glad to see I'm using Karn's Temporal Sundering. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh. Um... One, two. How many artifacts do we have? One, two, three. This will be a four, four. Yeah, that seems pretty good. This could have been bigger, actually, because on our... Uh, we would have actually been able to crack it this turn for three more treasure tokens. Bottom. Okay, well you're just gonna give me lands, I guess, so. Man, Karn, Karn be killing it, dude. Uh, how many games have you played with this? Uh, this is my th third match. Second match. This is actually my second match. See, now they got to dig. They're like, okay, this Sphinx is no longer going to get us there. A fumigate would be pretty good. Oh, yes.
I feel okay about my situation. Skinny of the Trials is going the distance. He's going for speed. He's all alone, all alone, all alone in this time of need. There is there are two Teferis in the deck. That is correct. Cardistafa. What are you gonna do? What you got here? Settle? Well, here's here's crossing them fingers. One, two, three, four is what you got. It's a real Michael Scott cringe face here. Oh god. Oh. I accept. 6, 12, 3, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right. That was the last, that was the last ditch effort right there. And they have died. Settle this. Uh, I, I see what you did there. I'm a fan. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. I thought they were going to negate my thing. And then I was going to cry. This hand is not gonna do it. This hand is very good though. Uh yeah, we'll keep all the lands we can we can muster. Mustard? Mustard hands. That's the original counterspell in case you guys didn't know about mustard. Actually that's mustard fingers, isn't it? <laughs> God, that's ridiculous. Oh boy. Oh, sensor cries are the worst, dude. What's in the background of this? Is that just a stained glass window? It is a stained glass window. That's pretty sweet. I ordered a bunch of standard cards so I can play some standard this weekend, but they're not gonna. They're probably not gonna be. I got. I'm getting a few of them like every day, but I, they're gonna be trickling in until next week apparently. So apparently next week is when I get to play standard, not this week, which makes me sad. I mean, I'm going to do it, but you're going to... You obviously waited till you had Spell Pierce. Oh, you didn't. Well, then. Now I just get to resolve this guy? Oh, boy. That's great news. Everybody's coming... Everything's coming up Karn House. Karn House in the middle. Actually, I actually want the land here. Oh, thanks. Man, negate the Drake Haven, play the Karn. Are you going to cycle? Are you going to cycle the cast out? Don't cycle the cast out. That's what you need. You need the cast out. Can we work on a stained glass tribal deck soon? I think we're getting there. The pieces are falling into place. Look at this cast out battle. Put a card you own with a silver counter. I like that because multiple cards can get different uh, different cards with silver counters, right? Like, because you just get any card with a silver counter on it, you can actually get cards that were exiled by the other Karn, it seems. This is okay, that's fine. That's great. Sad days. God, he never saw. He never leaves. I will. I will keep this Karn. Dang it. Oh, I guess I need a blue for that. I just tap the mana, and I hope it works out. Uh, 
have yourself a Lyra Little Christmas. Alright, what are we getting here? Oh, uh... Hmm. No, we'll keep that. One, two, three, four, five. Also, car in here. I'm actually not gonna play map here because I wanna, I wanna fake like I got the thing. I don't have the thing, but. Oh, that's sad. They knew. They knew I didn't have the thing. Got three cards. We have like infinite. Don't hurt my little Karn, bro. Bro. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, so good. So strong. Um. Whew. No, don't put that in the graveyard. One, two. So we can play Tefri, draw a card, untap lands at the end of our turn, and then cast out one of their things, which is actually pretty disgusting. Have yourself a merry little Carnmas day. They give us a Gideon, huh? One, two, three, four, five. They got rid of a Raph. I never like tapping double blue, huh? I think it's because blue is the second one there. Oh, uh, we'll get rid of your Thopter arrest. Karn's Temporal Sundering number two. History of Benalia? I got a white knight token. I actually don't care about that. I have bigger fish to fry. One, two, three, four, five. So we can play Glacial Fortress. I guess we actually didn't need to do that. Um, attack with you. Neither of our Planeswalkers are at risk of dying here. Tap you and you. That 
feels good. I don't know. Like, the problem is they have a bunch of relevant threats. Like, Drake Haven's relevant. Abandoned Sarcophagus is relevant. Even the Drakes are relevant. But... This tech costs more than my student loan payments. Yeah, but not by much, I imagine. You like the history, Chris? I don't. I just wasn't a fan. I didn't feel like it did anything on this board. I don't know. Maybe a bunch of knights in tandem was probably fine, but... I really just... Maybe I was just greedy and I had uh, visions of Karn's Temporal Sundering in my head. Anything that has a mythic symbol, yes. Okay, that's fair. Uh, touche. Touche. Oh, to a Teferi. That is apparently the... Uh, the threat. We get to draw three cards a turn. That seems like it's good. What are you rid of? Lyra or Karn? Lyra? Okay. Um, yes, I can put that in my graveyard. Yep, put that on the bottom. Oh, there it is. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, it's perfect. All right, everything. All right. Do we have anything we really want? No, not really. We'll just make a thing. And by make a thing, I mean draw a card. Okay, that's not exciting. Keep it up. Uh, okay, I'll untap these. <laughs> okay, they all untap. What's going on in the graveyard this time? Yes. And... All right, now we'll keep it on top for you, Chris. Make a thing. Let's draw a card here. Syncopate. Let's do a thing here. Another Gideon. History of Banalia. All right, we're just going to overload the board with, with monsters. Uh, no, it's not a brew. I don't know, man. Like, if you're going to criticize... Really, we're going to take issue with the, uh... <laughs> with the title of the stream? <laughs> I mean... Okay. I, I'll i be more specific next time. Playing a specific deck that went 5-0 in one league one time. Uh, that has a bunch of cool cards that I'd like to try out. That'll probably be better. Uh, nope. You're good. You're good. You're good. Everybody's good, right? We've done all we've done all the things we can do. One, two. Okay, fair. Not trying to attack. Just, just confused. Yeah. Okay. Just understandable. Understandable. No, it's not really a brew. I just, I mean, I feel like we'll play some brews at some point, but this might not happen to represent the specific brew in question. I feel like this match has gone on for quite a long time. They're at six. That feels pretty okay. This is game three, right? Yeah, we're one one. All right. I feel way ahead right now. I, I feel I feel ahead. What's going on, Mister Ori? If that is your real name.
You have to kill something. You have to kill a Teferi. Sad day. So next time we get to search for Azkanta. We get to draw a card from this. We get to draw a card from Karn. Well, that seems pretty good. I'm no I'm no card drawn expert here. XC Nero, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Appreciate the support. So long, buddy. You had a good run. So we activated Teferi twice. So four, went up to five. Took four, went down to to one. Plus him twice, I believe, on the turn, the extra turn. Went up to three, and that's... Okay, yeah, it makes, make, this all makes sense. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. I'll say six in case you have anything I can't account for. And we still have three treasures. Oh no. Oh, that's sad. I has a sad. Dang, taking the Lyra again? Uh, no, I'll actually keep that. That seems relevant. I will transform you as well. Make another gentleman. All right. This guy. Do we have a way to get rid of this? Let's see if we can... Do we have any way to grab something that can get rid of that? Jace's Defeat. Counter a blue spell. Lyra. Other Karn. No, I guess not. I guess we can draw a card. That's not it. I guess we can try to find something. That'll do. I just want to win the game. I just want to win the game. Good game of ruse. Anyone else see how many Karns were in the 5 list players? I think there are 19 out of 37. That's not too bad. I mean, it's a colorless Planeswalker that's very powerful. Got them. All right, sweet. Let's do it again. This deck seems fun. Deck 6 2 for the current meta, plus it has a ton of Mythic, so there's that. <laughs> That's yeah, my 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 same feelings as well. I was just like, I want to play with all these new shiny cards. The problem is that if you wanted to, I want if I want to play this deck, which I do, I have to wait like a million years for all these cards I ordered to actually get here. Hey, new cards, where are you at? Well, there's 17 orders from 92 sellers, so it's going to take a little bit. I see. Play some Grixis Improvise today. I'm giving you the hookup on Patreon. I get paid. Ah, nice. Hey, you're skinny. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. I am waiting for this queue to fill. How are people going to act? That's my question. Just get in the queue. That's all.
did it. Nailed it. Where do you get your cards from? Uh, I don't, whoever the sellers are on eBay. I have no idea. <laughs> I just eBayed a bunch of cards. Depends on what they're... I don't know. I, could, I can give you their buyer, their seller names. Ha ha ha. That's not what you mean, though. I, I get it. I get what you're saying. Sorry, Frank, eating DeGeneres pizza. I can't put my all in such a peaceful state. <laughs> wow. It's not delivery, Matthew Ari. It's DiGiorno. Everybody knows that. Well, joke's on you. Sponsored by eBay. Nice. It's not delivery. It's disappointment. <laughs> That's messed up. You just ruined any chance I had at a DiGiorno sponsorship. Thanks a lot, buddy. God. Some streamers are sponsored by energy drinks. I'm sponsored by DiGiorno pizza. Not like energy drinks. <gasps> oh, that's exciting. I'm excited by what just happened. I'm not excited by my lack of lands. How many how many lands are in this deck anyway? 26 lands? Come on. Oh my god, well look at my opponent's name. My opponent's name. That's amazing. That's incredible. Did they just cast down my gentleman? I'm gonna make a little, a little of the room meme here. See if they get it. Wow, bone picker too. This deck is gas, dude. Make another dude. Karn goes to six. I mean, Karn is the only thing we can do, and, uh, oh, this is great. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. We do have the, we do have the, the faux Hungry Howie sponsorship. I actually like Frischetta a lot better than DiGiorno too. That's so funny. I always thought I was the only one. I was always like, well, you know, maybe it's just me. Oh my god, this deck is gas, dude. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think they're just gonna go I think they're just gonna go at our face here, and it's gonna be very tragic. Mother of God. All my knights get plus plus two plus one. Oh, there was none. There are no knights. Must be knights. That's what I always say. They have one card. We could seal away you and seal away you and then we die to this. We could seal away you, seal away you, and then block with a 1-1 one, one and hope we don't have removal. And we have cast out, not seal away, so I guess we don't have that option. I guess we seal away you, block here. This is not ideal. Making a sad little construct, gentlemen. Missing land drops is sad. I prefer Teferi into get rid of Bone Picker. And we're dead. They have two cards. Why why did they have to be a thing? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, we got the uh got the got the room quotes on on point over here. Bring another one of you, bring two of you. Um 
Syncopate seems a little slow here. I do want another seal away. Take out one of you. Take out one of you. Lyra seems insane when the removal is fatal push and cast down. Take out a history. Yeah, all right. Come sail away with me. play first and try not to get wrecked. It's not looking good. It's looking better. I'll keep. I'll bottom you. Opponent's name is Gas. That was a good draw. All right, so this actually, this is probably the curve we want if we're gonna do anything with this deck. Well, not anymore. God, that card's obnoxious. I get to keep a Gideon. Boop. Well, that's a dude. Oh, uh, no. Keep that, too. Kerwit, thank you so much, man. You're, uh, you're... Standard Thursday afternoon $5 donation. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate the support. You are awesome. Uh, I'm going to prevent your damage because you are a monster. You're an actual monster, like a literal monster. I have two legacies at my school. What is legacies? Oh, like, uh, okay. I state championship and convincing principle that the a la carte line in our school needed bubble wings. I showed them they could buy a bag for like 10 bucks and then sell six wings for $3. The bag would yield like 20. They said, we'll try it out. They sold out their week supply in two days and they're, wow. Man, Matthew Ori. Buffalo wing champion of the world. This is just trading like, this is just trading one seal away for another. Ooh, wasn't that dandy? Um, I think we can do better than a land, yeah. That's better. Is it possible to chat without donating money? Uh, I don't think so. You guys, uh... That seems unlikely. Huh. So we're just gonna seal this thing away, right? They know we have a seal away. What's the... They're playing a black deck, so they can't actually have a way to deal with an enchantment, right? Let this resolve first, and then we'll scry. Um... Yes. Followed by... Uh, bottom. Followed by... Teferi. Okay. 
So now whatever land we hit, we'll keep. That's just how this works. I put a dead fish on top of the elevator in school. That's my life. <laughs> oh, God. Never forget. Uh, I have two copies of Karn and only play limited with no eBay account. What's the best way to sell these? Uh, go through a store like Card Kingdom or Channel Fireball or Star City or something like that. Find the best rate and sell them to those stores. Usually they'll give you a pretty good, pretty good rate. I mean, depending on... You can find a store that gives you a really good rate. Just one land. All right. No. Put your bone daddy back. This guy doesn't come this guy doesn't come at me anymore. Could have put Teffrey up to five and drawn a card. I don't know if that's better though. Did they buy foil Gaius cradles? I have three I should offload. Yes, I imagine they do. No beats. I don't think Twitch has set up a mode to chat without donating Kerwit. I think I heard something about it in an update in the near future. Wow, that's a good that's a good deal. Okay, well, this is getting a little problematic. Oh guys, it's a lot of creatures now. Alright, we're in good shape though. We're in good shape. We gotta settle and they have one card in hand. Uh no. Draw you. Play a land. One, two, three, four, five. If they have an answer to Lyra, like it's real bad for us. I think we'd rather just keep settle up here. Um, yeah, I'll put you on the top. You're good enough. Really looking forward to that update. Kerwin, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate the uh, the ridiculous, uh, you know, chat donation stream you got going on here. This is nice. This is a good this is a good deal. Boop, boop. We tapped our own land, so we'd have to untap our own land. I don't want to untap his at the end of the turn and have him go end of turn divest or something. That's illegal and not really legal because it's a sorcery and you can't really do that anyway. But, you know, just in case. Like, they know we have Settle here. They have to. Let's see what you know. What a story, Mark. Wow. Wow, Chris. Wow. Oh, that's exciting. Now I will put you in the graveyard. Bottom you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, boy. I has, I has an uncomfort... <clears throat> I has a, I has a real sad right now, guys. You got it. This is over, in your opinion. What if I just? What if I like literally top deck fumigate? I have like fumigates and settle the wreckage, and I have like. Draw a card, draw a card, scry, draw a card. Like, I don't really foresee this being over. We could have untapped Treasure Cove. I totally forgot about Treasure Cove, actually. I forgot it was a land.
Here we go. In before the entire chat tells me I should untap Treasure Cove. Uh, okay, so you're going to kill Teferi. You're going to kill Gideon. And everything has menace, right? So I can't actually block anything. Teferi lives? Interesting. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Draw. Treasure map. We're going to play this so we can scry first. It's literally similar to drawing another card. Bottom. Draw a card. And draw a card. And draw a card. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. We're digging here, guys. We're digging. Another Lyra. That's not going to do it. So they have eight, 16, 17, 19, 20. We can go to 19. I think we're actually out of, uh, we'll have five mana, but we need to use two of it to draw. We, like, we're actually dead here. And if we hit a seal away, oh, history of Benali at the end step. Yep, all right, they got it. Well, that was sad. <clears throat> Get wrecked. All right, we'll do uh, one more round. Typically, we do three. And uh, then we'll hit up a draft. I will play first. I will keep this hand. Magic standard seems real... Real aggressive here. Um, you should have represented Settle. Like, they're not going to not attack when they have lethal on the board just because we're representing Settle. Like, stuff like that is just kind of a wasted time for me personally. I mean, I know other people would be like, I'll represent Settle, see if you do it. And they might not do it. But um, my perspective is, like, you have the win on the board. You have not shown any indication that you're afraid of Settle the Wreckage. And uh, you'd kind of be silly not to have settled there. I'm actually going to keep this up because if they have Steel Leaf Champion... I don't really want to get got. They do not. You have Swamp and Forest. That's obnoxious. I actually like the new art for Land of War Elves. I think the new art looks sweet. Also, if you're referring to the old art, that, that doesn't actually exist on Magic Online. As far as I know. I feel like I would... Um, any I have zero? It might be like a promo, actually. Uh, oh, it's... Oh, uh, yeah, I guess it's a weird promo. Yeah, it's just a promo. There are a lot more Land of War Elves than I thought. Either way, this one still looks super sweet, so I would just use that one. Yep. Oh, I see. We're doing a winding constrictor. We're doing a little winding constrictor meme here. Make another gentleman. Away. 
What is that full art land or where'd that come from? Is that a real card or is that just a magic online card? What is that? That that card that art's amazing. Oh, this is a Dominaria promo. Yeah, this looks awesome. I would like to get my hands on some of those, actually. Those are awesome. These night tokens are also great, dude. I, I'm a real big fan of this art. This stained glass art. Um This format's like really aggressive. Play Karn. They walking Ballista put another counter on it. So this guy's a four. Shoot, shoot. They can then attack card for five. If they want to kill both of our guys. I assume they just kill one. Oh, man. I think we don't have a choice here, really. Of course, if they play Virtuous Gear Hulk, it's going to be super sad, but... Give me another Karn. How nice of you. How hospitable. Cannot foresee attacking here into their 2-3. That just seems like a bad idea. Karn's not really pressure, unfortunately. It's just a, another way for them to divert their resources. Yep, that's actually what we figured you'd do. Put the counter, kill the uh, nighty knights. Keep up a swamp. It's interesting. I would say fumigate one time, but uh, that is not a thing we have right now. So, oh, hold up! All the guys are getting buffed. Okay, they died. Oh, one of two lands. You get planes 100% of the time. Interesting. So now we can either syncopate uh, for two, which is enough to counter like a virtuous gear hulk, and which is what we care about. Or we can uh, irrigate farmland and scry. Karn, why did you leave me? Really, no attack with Winding Constrictor? Why? I wonder why. Seal away? Hmm, fascinating. Yeah, you got it. Can't stop any of these things. Uh, trying to, well, the thing about the Underground Sea is that it's probably going to go up in value, so it's actually probably a better investment than money just sitting in your savings account, to be quite fair. So I wouldn't actually worry about that purchase. You're also going to get more value out of it than you would um, the money. We'll have six mana. I don't care about this right now. It's weird thinking of irrigated farmland when they knew I had another land in hand. Yes. Yes, that. Alright, well you can't cast this down and you can't fatal push it, so I'm curious to see what your counter your what your what your answer is. And by curious, I mean I'm sure you'll have an answer, and I will have to deal with it. is condemned. That's a good one. And we have a reduced gear hulk in hand. I 
I think we're dead. Actually, we're dead. I don't know what we're doing here. Cast out an irrigated farmland. They would have given us farmland. Okay. I don't know why fumigates are not in this main deck. This seems like a main deck fumigate deck. Main deck fumigate deck. It's a song I wrote. Uh, I just... Oh my god, History of Benali. This does not seem like the deck for it. I get that people are all high on, on, on History of Benalia, but... It's not doing it for me. You thought this was a draft? <laughs> I mean, they had Winding Constrictor Virtuous Gearhulk. Something would have to go really weird for this to be a draft. I will play first. I like these turns where I can actually just play treasure map and not worry about it. I'm 12. I don't notice things fast. <laughs> oh, well said. Well said. I appreciate your 12-ness. Even though it's not actual 12-ness, it's just fake 12. All right. See, this is the match we'd win because they have double black and we have double history of Banalia. I'm surprised this card is seeing standard play. Do we just carn here or do we just load up on the banalia? I think we're just carning here. I dislike that it puts the new one on the left because I always want to attack with the one on the left because you go from left to right. So the new one would go on the right, but they put it on the left and it's... It's just little things like that that kind of detract from your user experience. I don't think that does what you think it does. That was amazing. I was wondering about that. I, uh, I get a field of ruin for free here. I think getting a search down is probably more more better than a scry. It's probably the, probably about the same, but we're bring, using our mana a little bit better. So long, Carney. What's my record for most viewers? Probably like six hundred, to be honest with you. It's very, it's not, it's not super high. Oh uh, yeah, we can put that in the graveyard. I could care less about your irrigated farmland.
Let's get down to business to defeat the snacks. Yeah, you can have that. Choops. Keeping the choops. Land of War Elves. Every day. All right, let's scry here. Uh, yeah, you could stay. I hate, I hate keeping the card, because then we don't even get to use this. Sad. Oh, we just get the win. All right. I, I like winning, though, so that's okay. Big, you need a cowbell. Um, pfft. We were actually going to make a cowbell emote a while back, and I, I had it all made up. And then when I submitted it, they were like, oh, sorry, we can't actually have this because it's copyright of NBC. Uh, it was it was the Will Farrell hitting the cowbell from, like, Blue Oyster, the Blue Oyster Cult skit. And I was like, oh, that's sad. I was like, really? My Twitch stream can't have a, a Will Farrell cowbell emote because of NBC? Okay, sure. <clears throat> no time has come. Season don't. God, I hate winding constrictor on too. Not in the wind and the sun and the rain. This is where they go land Jade Light Ranger and it's just actually insane. This deck seems still good. Winding constrictor seems like such a broken card, dude. As we've experienced in standard for the past. Really? Why didn't. Oh, because you don't want me to seal it away? All right, well. Leave you on the top. You should show them again Will Farrell on stream with you to do the skit. That's a good idea. And then I'll be like, sorry, buddy. I actually did this skit on my own. It's actually from my stream. And then they'll be like, oh, dang. That's a good point. He just wrecked us. Seasons don't fear the reaper. God, you can just throw Karn into any deck, dude. Uh, choose a card that doesn't come put into your hand. Impulse. No. Draw. One, two, three, four. I will also Karn. We can just both Karn. Everybody's Karn. Let's go Karn now. Everybody's learning how. Come on and Karn with me. Gonna play Karn. This is a terrible song. I'm so sorry you guys have to deal with this. Well, that's sad. Oh boy, I has a sad. We will definitely be drafting after this. Virtuous Gear Hulk deal. Oh, another one. All right. And a Bronto Dono. I'm going to be surprised. You're, you're actually letting me use my Karn. That's interesting to me. Two cards enter, one card leaves. Let's cycle this. This is too many cards. I think this deck needs three cards instead of four. Four is a lot. I'd rather have more cards that do things. More cards that do things. Yuck, yuck, yuck. That's not good. I'm sorry. We also don't have a way to deal with their Karn. We have nothing. I don't care about you. 
We now they have Bronto Don and Walking and Virtuous Gear Hulk in hand. Bookum Dono, Bronto Dono. That was terrible. Yeah, this card's good. Fingers crossed for Fumigate. You put one, two, three, four. I would just do one on each. Yeah, that's that's what I'd do. Well, I guess you're putting two on the ballista because that's just better. Five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, we're just dead here. All right, all right. So deck needs a little bit of tweaking, I would say. I don't think it's I don't think it's ready to go. It went five zero in a league, but I don't know if that's really a testament, especially in week one. Um, I think we just need more things to do things before turn three or four. And uh, I don't know if blue white actually has it. Like I would like essence scatters. Essence scatters seem to be great. There's a lot of problematic creatures in this format that sy syncopate by itself just can't deal with. And you really wanna you wanna be able to deal with a uh, a card like Virtuous Gear Hulk in this format before it hits the board. So um, yeah, I don't know. Deck seems it deck seems fun, but I think it does have some room to improve. Um, but either way, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out my Patreon. It's in the description. Really appreciate the support. And I'll see you next time.